Hey YouTube, this is Miss O. Section 377A is being argued on at least two different fronts. One is the legal challenge, the other is a policy challenge. Most of the debate is on a matter of policy. For the legal challenge, defensive arguments about the slippery slope are irrelevant. Singapore is a nation of law and the Supreme Court can only concern itself with the constitutionality of 377A, not the potential future impact of its repeal. The constitutionality of 377A largely rests on whether or not the court concludes that homosexuality is a choice or an innate characteristic based on legitimate apolitical scientific research. The Supreme Court of India accepted highly politicized research to conclude that homosexuality is innate and Singapore must not make this error. As I have said before, what the science tells us is that genetics, at most, may create propensities in certain people to develop same-sex attraction under the influence of a combination of environmental factors. The science is quite clear that homosexuality is not predetermined and immutable, but vague and misleading assertions that genes or hormones play a role in homosexuality need to be carefully deconstructed to avoid jumping to wrong conclusion. Genes and hormone exposure, after all, play a role in aggressive and violent behavior. They play a role in the creation of a rapist, but the role is not a causal role. It is not determinative. The legal slippery slope of accepting hormonal or genetic propensities as rationale for certain behaviors is something the court does need to consider. This is Miss O. Until next time.